Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you whenever and wherever you are. Welcome to the second tutorial in this short series of fractal modelling tutorials in Cinema 4D and MoGraph. Today we will be modelling this, Cantor Dust, which is a 3D representation of a number pattern that was discovered in 1875 by Henry John Stephen Smith and described in detail by George Cantor in 1883. It's not particularly difficult to model, but understanding its construction can provide a starting block for other fractals inside Cinema 4D. And in fact, it's practically the most basic one you can actually make, which is why um, it's so useful for beginners. So let's go into Cinema and start making it. So here I am in a new document in Cinema 4D, and I'm just going to add a cube with the dimensions of 1 by 1 by 1. It's always easier to start smaller and get bigger rather than subdivide a larger object. Then I'm going to add in my MoGraph cloner and I'm going to hold down the Alt key when I click it so that my cube is automatically added as a child of the cloner. And the mode on the cloner needs to be set from linear to grid array. I'm going to change my count to 2 in each direction X, Y, and Z, and then the size to 2. And what that's given me is a grand total of 8 cubes with 1 millimeter gap between them. And the next stage of the construction is simply to place this cloner object inside another cloner object, which is exactly the same. Like I said, Cantor dust isn't very difficult to model at all. And then the size of the second cloner object needs to be multiplied by 3 to 6 millimeters each. And then like the earlier Menger sponge, uh, Menger sponge shape, it's simply a case of repeating exactly the same. So to actually duplicate the colon, what I did was hold down the control button and then click and drag to give me another one. Delete the cloner inside the cloner and then insert the cloner into the cloner, like so. Um, and then in the um, the largest cloner, again, simply multiply it by 3, so this time to 18. And this is the third iteration of the uh, canter dust because the cube is the zero iteration and then 1, 2, 3. And you can go up you know, as high as you like, just um, put the cloner into another cloner exactly the same, uh, with the only difference being the size multiplied by 3 each time. And this is, um, that's it, that's the canter dust, that's as easy as it is. Uh, one thing that um, may be of interest is that if you, for example, use a 1mm octa uh, platonic primitive, and for example, what you can do is achieve a very different look simply by uh, changing the objects which are inside the cloner. And that means that you still have control over the entire look of the object simply by changing um, the object which is inside it. If you use a sphere, for example, again, you can change the entire look. But be aware that obviously with a sphere, you've got a lot more polygons than you would have if you just had a a cube. Okay, that's about it, and um, that's literally it. Um, simply demonstrating how simple it is to make canter dust uh, in Cinema 4D using MoGraph. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, leave some feedback. Thanks very much.